Using the 3M77 adhesive, I found that mounting the cardstock onto the paper versus the other way around is much easier because the cardstock is more rigid and easier to control. Four stencils for this BB King poster laid out and ready to go. Taping down the poster board keeps the poster board from lifting when doing texturing. Using white, dark gray, and black Rust-Oleum gloss, I was planning on doing my basic textured background with the garbage bag, but after getting some droplets on the surface, I realized that I kind of liked that look, so I went ahead and recoated the whole thing and went for a droplet effect. I really like this. Here's a close-up view for you to look at. I really like the way it turned out. I'm going to have to let this dry overnight though because that's a lot of paint saturation. Layers of white and ivory for the guitar. Metallic gold bling for his wristwatch band. Back to black, gray, and white for the skin tones. My favorite one-shot lettering white reduced with turpentine halo. mechanical portion of the project using sharpies to draw out all the frets, the markers, and the strings. Dialing in the facial feature intricacies are critical to these posters. Time for shadows and low lights. It's easy to go too far with this. It's better to stay in the light to medium range. soft, transparent highlights. Some one-shot ivory lettering enamel and a Steve Kafka number one pinstriping scroller to do this signature. This was a lot of fun. Great brush, a lot of control. Hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you so much for watching.